slash Bronx Live, and then we'll move over when we're able to. So starting for the Bearcats in the backcourt, a 6'4", 180-pound junior out of Brooklyn, New York, number one, Jabari Peters. A 6'1", 180-pound junior out of Wichita, Kansas, number 15, Kaheem Ransom. And a 6'1", 180-pound sophomore out of Austin, number 21, Paul Baxter. Up front, a 6'5", 210-pound senior out of Duncanville, number 20, James Thomas. And in the middle, a 6'11", 270-pound junior out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, Number 35, Michael Holyfield. Head coach of the Bearcats is Jason Hooten, assisted by Chris Mudge, Matt Brower, and Kenneth Mangrum. The Bearcats enter this, well, they're 0-0. Zero zero. It's the first day of the season. As for the UTPA Bronx, starting at the point guard position, a 5'11", 170-pound junior out of St. Louis, Missouri. Number five, Shaquille Boga. At shooting guard, a 6'5", 215-pound graduate student out of Woodbridge, Virginia, number three, Javon Farrell. At small forward, a 6'7", 195-pound sophomore out of Chicago, Illinois, number 24, Shaquille Hines. The power forward, a 6'5", 218-pound junior out of Kansas City, Missouri, number 32, Justin Leathers. And at center, a 6'6", 225-pound senior out of Houston, number 25, Josh Cleveland. Head coach of the Bronx in his first season is Mr. Dan Hipsher. The associate head coach is his son, Andy Hipsher, assisted by Ellen McCroy and Cody Hopkins. The Bronx last season, 516 and 16. Well, it looks like we're just about ready to go. They Bronx in their home white tops and bottoms. The WAC logo on the back above the number. The number's in green with orange trim, as are the WAC letters. On the front, it says, well, I think it says Bronx. Can't actually see the front of the jersey. It does. Green and orange throughout. Nike swish on the right shoulder, bucking Bronx on the, by each knee. The Bearcats are in their road orange tops and bottoms with black piping down the sides. The interlocking SH logo by each knee and a diamond surrounded by a white outline. White numbers on the front and on the back in black trim. The white words Sam Houston on the front of black trim. A Southland Conference logo on the left shoulder and Nike swoosh on the right shoulder. Well, Josh Cleveland getting ready to take the tip for UTPA. They'll be moving from right to left on your computer screen. It's going to be the big man, Michael Holyfield, making the tip with six, five inches of height on Cleveland. And the tip is won by the Bronx. Or nope, it's won by Sam Houston. For a second, it looked like Javon Farrell might have had it. So he ran between three different Bearcats, but it is. Sam Houston State. Jaheim Ransom gets it going. Hands it off to J Thomas. Pass down low, kicked out of bounds. Bearcats basketball. 19 on the shot clock. Pass comes into the corner to Ransom. Ransom goes into the lane, loses it. Farrell picks it up. Coming down two on two. Behind the back pass to Boga for the layup. It's good. Nice start to the season. It's two to nothing, Bronx. That is a pretty play. Shkiel Boga didn't start the exhibition. Farrell started at point guard in that game. Starting at point guard today, though. And he picks up a rebound. Here come the Bronx. Bronx are going to play fast this season. That's one thing Dan Hipcher has told us several times. To play fast, a lot of motion offense. Important to get down the court in transition, and because of this, they're going to have to use a deep rotation. Try and keep everybody fresh. Bogo with the basketball out beyond the arc, and immediately a whistle blown. Foul on Michael Holyfield. 
Well, that is the best possible news for UTPA. The goal has to be to get him into early foul trouble, I would think. Try and get Holyfield out of this game. He is far and away the biggest man on the court. Leathers is the basketball on the right wing, top of the key to Hines for three, no good. Rebound, put back, try by Leathers, no good. Hines gets it back, throws it up and in. And the Bronx lead four to nothing. Bronx have asked Hines and they need Hines to be big on offense this year. 18 points in the exhibition, eight more points than they scored in any game last year. The Bronx now lead four nothing over the Bearcats. Dribbling in Jabari Peters. And the first foul on the Bronx side. Justin Leathers. Ball comes in underneath. Ball's thrown up in the air, not falling. Rebound Hines. Here comes Boga, he can fly. Farrell, quick trigger three right wing is too long, out of bounds. And it's Sam Houston State ball. Sam Houston State went to the semifinals of the Southland Conference Tournament last year. Pretty good opponent for the Bronx to open up the season against. Ball down low, out of bounds. Who's it off of? Bronx ball. Two minutes gone by. Boga across the timeline. Alley-oop, too strong for Hines. And it comes down in the hands of Baxter. Pass over to Peters. Traveling, Bronx ball. 2-12 gone by, four to nothing Bronx. Baskets for Boga and Hines. Boga, top of the key, whistle blown, coming back the other way. Offensive foul. On Josh Cleveland, his first. Peters, waved off. Laurie Toivonen into the game for the Bronx. Josh Cleveland with two quick fouls. He's going to take a seat. Toivonen, the starting center most of last year. Does a nice job guarding the inbounds. Sam Houston State throws it out. It's Bronx ball. Toivonen spent his summer playing in the World University Games with the Finnish national team. Coach Hipscher thinks Toivonen has a ton of talent. It's just a question of getting him to unlock it. Boga comes inside and the ball knocked out of his hands and out of bounds and remain Bronx ball. Will Bond in for Sam Houston State. Team Ranson back to the bench. Hines inbounds out to Toivinen. Pass back to Boyd. Or check that, <laughs> to Boga. Boga back to Farrell on the right wing in front of the Sam Houston bench. Now Farrell, underhand layup doesn't go. Rebound Bearcats. Right elbow leaner is good by Baxter. Sam Houston State, it took them just over three minutes from the board. It's four to two. Boga, pass right side, Toivinen. Over to Leathers at the top. Over to Hines. Hines wearing those neon green shoes. This is the Boga wearing the same. All the Bronx are. Toivin in. Finds Hines. Hines working his way in. Wave off the shot attempt. Hines traveled along the baseline. 
And it's Sam Houston State ball. Three and a half minutes gone by. The Bronx up four to two on Sam Houston State. Two quick baskets, but nothing since. Jabari Peters is the basketball for Sam Houston State. There's the lob, looking for Holyfield, who misses on the shot. Rebound Farrell. Head to Boga. Sends it back to Farrell. Right wing Hines, up top to Boga. Boga trying to use that high pick and roll to get around a couple of Sam Houston State players, but a whistle and a media timeout. 15.58 to play in the opening half, and it is 4-2 Bronx. This is Bronx Basketball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Fifteen and a half minutes to play in the opening half. It's four to two UTPA. Fox got a couple of early baskets. Trying to get one here in transition. Farrell lays it up. No good but a foul. So Farrell's headed to the line. Five to two Bronx, 15-20 to play in the first. Motley trying to get underneath, takes a walk, it's Bronx ball. And a timeout called. Let's take a 15 second break here with some words from uh, Texas BOG MC. I want you to come see us today at your new Buick GMC dealer, South Texas Buick GMC. Come test drive the all new 2014 GMC Sierra and drive it home for just $3.99 a month. South Texas Buick GMC.
Farrell misses. Rebound, Motley. Mason. Motley. Blake Provost into the game for UTPA. Comes down to Toyvan in, lays it up and in. Bronx up 7-2. Shot from the right elbow. Terrence Motley doesn't fall. Alex Majewski checking in for the Bronx. Or is he? Wants to. Here he comes. Justin Leathers takes a seat. So seven to two Bronx, six minutes gone by in the first. Provost pass to Majewski, right wing. Top of the key to Hines. Left side to Toivinen. Down low to Majewski, uh, yep, to Majewski. Now to Toivinen, out to Farrell. The right wing, Hines. Down low to Provost, puts it up, doesn't fall. Rebound pulled down by Motley and back we go the other way. Daniel Mason, ball comes down low to the right wing to Ransom. Whistle away from the ball and a foul. Farrell called for the foul. And when I say away from the ball, I mean in the act of shooting as Markel McKinley, or McKinney rather, is headed to the line for Sam Houston State. McKinney misses on the first. McKinney, 320, or check that, 649 career free throw shooter. Now, now 48 for 75. Hines is the basketball on the left wing. To the top to Majewski. Down low to Toivonen. Left corner, Hines for three. Too strong. The rebound pulled down by Ransom. There's the three from the left wing by McKinney. No good. Rebound put up no good, but a foul. More free throws coming up for Sam Houston State. Boy, shooting has been something today, huh? Take a look at the numbers. Sam Houston State's one for six from the field. The Bronx are three for nine. And now Sam Houston State's 0 for three from the line. Bronx are one for two. As Nathaniel Mason misses on the first. Mason, a career 76% free throw shooter, was 64 for 84 last season. No good. Rebound, put back is good. Bronx lead is cut to 7-4. And while the 
clock is at 25. The shot clock is. That, it can't be that low already, so they have to go back and reset it, I think. Yep, they put six seconds back up. It's 31. So Shaquille Hines will inbound by his own bench. Provost. Left corner, Majewski for three, too strong. Rebound offensive to Hurley Johnson. Up top to Toivonen. Right wing to Hines. This is coming the other way. Ransom across the timeline. Mason, pass down low, stolen by Toivonen. Up to Blake Provost. Majewski left wing for three, got it! Alex Majewski with his first career basket. The Bronx lead 10 to four. 11 and a half minutes to play. Baxter, Hines tried to pick his pocket, couldn't. Ball comes to the left corner, waved off. And we're up against the media timeout, 11.27 to play. And the Bronx are up 10 to four. This is Bronx basketball. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Gotta make room. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Ten to four, Bronx with 11.20 to play in the first half. Ball goes out of bounds and Sam Houston State gets the ball back. Pretty good crowd out here on opening night. Majewski with the layup, it's good. It's 12 to four Bronx. Now it's 12 six after the Modley basket. Provost across the timeline, a very strong on the ball defender. Pass to Jamal Dancer on the right wing. Top the key to Majewski. Now to it. left wing Farrell. Farrell spins his way in, throws it up, gets swatted. Toivonen gets it down, throws it up, off the glass and in. 14 to six, Bronx. Peters misfires on the other end. Offensive rebound, Motley. 
Leads to a tray by Ransom, and it's 14-9. Well, if the pattern holds, the Bronx are gonna score the next two baskets, or at least have two free throws or something like that. And I say that because it's gone Bronx basket, Bronx basket, Sam Houston basket. Bronx free throw, Bronx basket, Sam Houston basket. Bronx basket, Bronx basket, Sam Houston basket. Or check that. Ransom's basket ended the trend. My live stats were a little slow. I was very excited with this great fact I'd come up with, and then I was wrong. My producer, Dylan Badura, has a great smile on his face. I'm glad he enjoys. <laughs> First game of the season. Got to hold something back, right, folks? Shaquille Boga into the game. Drives from the layup, misfires. Dance with the rebound and the basket. Bronx lead is 16-9. Along the baseline and up and over the backboard out of bounds from Baxter, it's Bronx ball. Farrell gives it to Boga and Boga over on the offense. Boga gives it to Dantzler on the left. 2-3 zone for Sam Houston. Now to Boga. 17 on the shot clock. Hines on the left wing. Majewski right wing. Majewski passes defender. Tries to pass off to Boga, but it's stolen away by Motley. Back we go the other way. Head to Ransom. Matched up with Dantzler. Ransom goes left. Hand off Peters. Peters lets it fly, rolls off. Rebound, ends up out of bounds. And it's off the Bronx. Bearcats retain. Curly Johnson in. Javon Farrell takes the seat. There's a three from the top that doesn't fall. Rebound, Dantzler. Boga, the top to Majewski. Away from the ball, the whistle. And Motley picks up the foul. It's his first, or check that, it's his second, and that's five now on Sam Houston State. Markel McKinney is back in, replacing Motley. Boga, top of the key to Johnson, right wing Hines. Hines works his way in, throws it up, doesn't fall. And on the rebound, Dantzler falls on top of Peters. And ends up with a foul. It's the eighth on UTPA. You know what I just noticed? All four Bronx coaches are wearing green ties today. With white shirts. Three dark suits. Andy Hipscher, associate head coach, bucked the trend with a light suit. But he's wearing dark pants. I like the uniformity. Boga finds Hines on the right wing. The Majewski, no, it's Boga, baseline, no good. Hines grabs the rebound, slings it to Boga as they'll leap up to get it. Dantzler throws it up and <laughs> won't get a friendly roll. I get the Crisco off of that rim. Rebound to M. Houston. 
Baxter pulling out a play with 20 on the shot clock. Baxter passes it down low to Thomas, who finds himself with an uncontested layup after Dantzler fell down trying to guard him. And it's a five-point game at 16-11. Boga takes the ball down the court, goes to the left wing, Johnson. Johnson puts it up and in. Hurley Johnson. The Bronx lead is 18-11. Peters, right elbow leaner. No good. Rebound, a putback rolls out, but the third opportunity goes in. Makes it 18-13 and or no. Did they call offensive basket interference? I think they did, because the scoreboard did change, and we have a media timeout. 6.39 to go, Bronx by seven. This is Bronx Basketball. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Old moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Back we are at the UTPA Fieldhouse. Jonah Goldberg riding with you. It's actually 18-13 after all. They finally put those points up on the board. I didn't see if they went to the replay system or if it was just uh, slow recognition from the scoreboard. But either way, the Bronx lead is five with just over six minutes to play in the first. Peters, McKinney, Baxter. Johnson pushing Baxter out with 20 on the shot clock. Layup by McKinney, missed. On the rebound, a foul. Devon Farrell now with two fouls. And LJ McIntosh takes off his warm up, gets ready to check in. Farrell takes a seat in foul trouble. There's a hard high five to McIntosh. You can see a little frustration on the fifth year senior's face. First free throw by Peters is good, it's a four point game. Second shot is good. It's a one possession game, 18-15. The Bronx have led throughout, but a stop at a basket. Yet Sam Houston State within one or tied. Boga layup, good. Miguel Boga, little fist bump afterwards. It's 20-15. Ransom, pass down low and a reach in. I think that's on Boga. Yep. 
That's his first foul. Bronx are not, uh, over the limit. First free throw good for Thomas. Thomas, second shot would have been good, waved off. Offensive lean violation. So 20 to 16. Bronx by four. And Hines inbounds to Boga from one Shaq to the other. Bronx are the only team in NCAA Division I with two players named Shaq. You can count the number of total Shaqs on slightly more than two hands. You can do it on three. As Boga picks up the basket, 22-16. Well, Boga, scoring point guard, he's got six. Good at creating his own offense when necessary, which is certainly an attribute the Bronx could use this year. Early Johnson just got called for his second foul. See what that means. We have a couple of Bronx in foul trouble. Cleveland on the bench with two. Farrell on the bench with two. Johnson still in the game for the moment with two. Wipe up some moisture from the court. Court's seen a lot of action today. Women's basketball. Played first, beat, beat up Shriner, 87-46. Off the front iron. Well, looks like they're going to leave Johnson in for now. Thomas makes the second. It's a five-point game. Boga finds McIntosh. This is the Leathers. To Johnson at the top. Four and a half minutes to play in the first. Bronx by five. Pass inside, knocked away. It's loose. Picked up by the Bearcats. Baxter fires it ahead to Peters along the baseline. Whistle. Free throws coming up. Bronx are over the limit. It's 11 or 12 fouls for the Bronx in this first half. Five for Sam Houston State. That's a four-point game. Johnson out. Jamal Dantzler in. Comes Boga into the lane, tries to throw it up, gets fouled, and the ball ends up on the other side of the tables and near the wall. Foul on Paul Baxter. That's six now on the Bearcats, and free throws for Boga. No good on the first. Five point game. As Game Ranson runs the offense, gives it to Peters at the top against McIntosh. Pass right wing, Ransom. Oh, 
Right wing Peters. Peters throws it up off the window and in. It's a one possession game. Bronx need a hoop. Last time it became a one possession game, Bogo went in for a basket. Who will it be this time? Foul. Samuelson State disagrees. Jason Hooten has his hand, palms to the sky, throws his arms out as much as he can. Now he puts his arms up, wipes his head, but Bronx are headed back to the line when we return. 3.39 to play in the first. Bronx by three. This is Bronx basketball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Back at the UTPA Fieldhouse, Jonah Goldberg riding with you. 3.39 up on the clock before halftime. The Bronx up 23-20 over Sam Houston State. <laughs> Justin Leathers hits the first free throw to make it 24-20. side Peters misses on the layup but he gets fouled headed to the line for free throws Peters hits the first Twenty-five, twenty-two, three thirty-one to play in the first. Blake Provost on the left wing. Launches a three. No good. Rebound, pull down by the Bearcats and Peters. Three for McKinney on the way. Looking to tie it. Can't. And here come the Bronx. Boga spins his way into the lane, puts up the jumper, nothing but the bottom of the net. 27-22 Bronx.
Uh, James Thomas answers on the other end. The Bronx lead is cut to three at 27-24. Blake Provost with the basketball on the timeline. Pass over to Leathers left wing. Top of the key to Hines. Right wing Boga. Boga coming baseline and knifes his way to the hoop. It's 29-24. Ransom races it up the sideline, pass over to Peters. Bronx spacing out the defense, going zone. Peters on the right wing. Pass intercepted by Boga. Coming in two on two, pass for Provost, is just out of his reach. And it's Sam Houston State ball, five point lead for the Bronx. Minute 47 to go. Bogo already in double figures with 11 points. And he leads all scorers. Peters left wing three is good. That makes it a two point game at 29, 20, well, 29, 27. Here comes Peters. Sam Houston State can tie it for the first time. A foul, and now they'll get a chance to do it from the free throw line. The Bronx scored the first four points of the game. They have led wire to wire since the 1935 mark when the first basket was scored. But now, if Nathaniel Mason can make two free throws, we'll have a tie game for the first time. Mason is 0 for 2 from the line today. Sam Houston State is 7 for 15. That's 47%. Mason's first shot is off the back iron. Well, Mason can't tie it now. He can make it a one point game with a make though. Sam Houston State has their shooting percentage up to 39%. The Bronx at 41 and a half. Mason's second shot, rattles home. It's a one point game. It's the closest Sam Houston State's been. It's 29 28. Boga across the timeline, the right wing, Hines. Hines, I don't know where he was throwing it to, but it does tap the rim and ends up in the hands of Mason. Hines kind of tossed it from beyond the backboard, right along the baseline. 23 second differential between shot and game clock. And as Ransom comes in, he gets fouled. Now Sam Houston State can tie it and take the lead with a pair of good free throws. Blake Provost picks up his first foul. Coach Hipscher disagrees with the call. And now he is giving out the orders to those on the court. It's Hines, Leathers, Majewski, Provost, and Boga. Game Ranson to the line. Ransom's first trip to the line today. Sam Houston State eight for 17. No good. Eight for 18. Ransom can still tie it if he hits this one. And he does. 29 all, first time we've been tied since it was scoreless. 42 seconds to go. Boga, left wing Majewski. Hines down low. Hines turns around, throws it up, rims out. Rebound Sam Houston State with 30 seconds left. They can hold out for the last shot if they so choose, and it looks like Ransom's gonna do just that. Oh, well, the Bronx need a stop. After leading the entire half, the last thing they want to do is go into the locker room down. They prefer to go into the locker room leading, but given the choice, they'd rather at least be tied. Baxter. Right wing, Peters for the lead. No good. Boga, three-quarter court shot is short. 
And we go into the half tied at 29. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we'll take a look at some of the first half numbers. This is Bronx Basketball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital at Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Rolito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Got to make room. Back out to the UTPA Fieldhouse. John Goldberg riding with you. The score at the half is 29 to 29. We're all tied up. Let's take a look at some of the first half numbers. We'll start with visiting Sam Houston State. Leading the team in scoring with 10 points is Jabari Peters. Two of seven from the field, one of two from behind the arc, but he's five for seven from the line with three rebounds. Six points each for Ransom and Thomas, four for Motley, two for Baxter, one for Mason. The Bearcats, nine of 24 from the field, that's 38%, two of six from behind the arc. And nine for 19 from the line, that's 48%. 20 rebounds, seven offensive for the Bearcats compared to 21 rebounds, seven offensive for the Bronx. The Bronx led the scoring by Shaquille Boga, game high 11 points. Five of nine shooting. That's 56%. One of two from the line, three rebounds, and a steal as well. After that, it's five points for Alex Majewski. Two of three from the field with a tray. Laurie toivonen has got four. Two points each for Hurley Johnson, Justin Leathers, and Shaquille Hines. One for Javon Farrell. The Rocks, 12 of 32 from the field. That's 38%. One for eight from behind the arc, and four for six from the line. Fast break points, four for the Bronx, none for the Bearcats. Off of turnovers, 10 for the Bronx, four for the Bearcats. Points in the paint, 14 for the Bronx, six for the Bearcats. Second chance points, six for the Bronx, nine for the Bearcats. We give you all these numbers, but the only ones that matter, 29 and, well, 29. The Bronx and Bearcats tied at the half. We'll take a time out. When we come back, we're going to show you a clip from this week's edition of Bronx Country. This is Bronx Basketball. UTPA men's basketball took the court for a game for the first time on Monday. We'll see how they did. 
UTPA women's basketball is just about ready to go. We have an in-depth season preview, and we'll dress up with UTPA baseball at their annual Halloween practice. This is Bronc Country. Welcome to Brown Country. I'm Jonah Goldberg. The University of Texas Pan American men's basketball team took the court for the first time under new head coach Dan Hipsher in game conditions when they played an exhibition against Texas A&M Kingsville on Saturday. And early on, things were working well. Look at the awareness by Justin Leathers. Makes it three to nothing Bronx. Last season, Shaquille Hines was four for 10 from behind the arc. Saturday, he not only made the start, but did so at the three. And look at the big man stepping out. Not just once, but twice. We're going to stick with Hines for the rest of the half because he had a game to remember. That layup makes it 19-18. Also gives UTPA the lead for good. But just for good measure, Hines adds a jumper. And then, coming down in transition, a hoop with some harm. Hines makes the free throw to convert the three-point play. Finished with 18 points, eight more than he had scored in any game last season. Bronx go up 30-21. Middle of the second half, Blake Provo seeing his first playing time in a Bronx uniform, and he played well. Makes it 50 to 38 Bronx. Now how about a little Javon Farrell? That's a pretty athletic dunk. But a minute later, Farrell outdoes himself. Bronx up 18. And then with four and a half minutes left, Justin Leathers. Bronx take their largest lead at 24 points. Go on to win 74-56. The Bronx made a living from the free throw line during the game going 24 for 33. Hines joined in double figures by Farrell with 11 points and Leathers who had 10 points and tied with Hines for the team lead in rebounding. So I thought, you know, Shaquille Hines was a, a big key, uh, did a great job for us, uh, cut, made shots, aggressive defender. It was definitely just me preparing, you know what I'm saying? Going out there, do what I work on every night, you know what I'm saying? Making sure I get the team involved, make sure I do what I gotta do for us to win. As for the game as a whole, the Bronx were pleased with the results. Uh, we were pretty nervous tonight early. Blew a lot of easy opportunities, blew a lot of transition situations. But uh, overall, I was happy with the kids. We were definitely a little bit rusty. Uh, I mean, you know, first game jitters playing in front of a crowd. But I mean, overall, we did some good things and we got some things that we got to improve on. I mean, we did pretty good defensively. And, uh, when things wasn't going our way, we didn't hang our head. So we did good. And now that the exhibition is done, the real thing starts Friday at 7 against Sam Houston State. Sam Houston's got a good team. They're picked up high in the Southland, got a veteran group back, and uh, almost made the NCAA. I think they, they lost the championship game of the Southland uh, Conference Tournament last year. So a uh, good group, be a good test for us. And then a quick turnaround for the Bronx as the University of Houston comes to town Monday at 7. The Cougars are very, very good and, and uh, coming in here with a great team. And, you know, like I say, the, this early season for us is very similar to an NBA preseason. You know, we're going to play six games, nine days, learn a lot about our kids, a lot about our team, uh, hopefully stay healthy, and then kind of figure out what kind of team we are. And while the men's team has already hit the court once, you know from the countdown to tip off on the UTPA Bronx Instagram account that the women's team doesn't hit the court for the first time in game conditions until they open the regular season on Friday. What can you expect to see? Romeo Villarreal has all the details. The women's basketball season kicks off November 8th against Shriner University. Let's take an in-depth look at what this team is made of and what their goals are for the 2013-2014 season. <laughs> Sophomore point guard Kaylin Boyd returns to UTPA for her second season with the Bronx. She started in half of the Bronx games last year, despite it being her first year on the team. Uh, speed has a lot to do with it, but also like change of speed. So I can't be always fast, fast, fast. I have to go slow to fast. So that's going to be very important in the transition game and then running set plays. That's going to play a big part in it. I would have to say probably leadership and communication. Uh, that's probably my biggest asset, trying to get everybody involved and then get the team together, like, you know, rile them up and um, get us on the road, try to start something quick. I'm going to 
I'm, gonna, I'm sort of going to, I guess a good word is demand a lot more out of her on the defensive end than what she did last year. I think she can guard the ball and I think she can do a lot better job than, than what maybe she's had to do in the past. As a freshman year, you know, she had a great learning curve. She's uh, capable of getting to the rim. She can hit threes. But the thing I want her to do is push the ball and get her teammates in position to score. And then she's got to get back in, uh, on the defensive end and play some great defense. Junior shooting guard Tonisha Walker comes to the Bronx from Cowley County Community College for her first year with the Bronx. Walker was among the top 100 junior college players in the 2012-2013 season. We have a quick team, so we're all pretty, pretty quick. So speed is what I, I can bring to the team. Our post players can get up and down the court. They can run, guards can run. So everyone on our team can pretty much get up and down the court. As a team, I just want—I want to win a conference and go to the to the tournament. That's one of our, I believe everybody's main goal is to win. So, her strength is athleticism, and her she has good length. She's going to be able to guard the ball, and she's going to be able to knock down some threes. We had a scrimmage last week, and she hit like six three pointers, six for seven during the game. So she's got a lot of things that she brings to the table. But again. Her defensive, uh, her defensive end of the game, her, her length, her quickness, her athleticism is, is what's going to get her on the floor for quite a few minutes as she knows how to, she knows how to play defense. Junior small forward Jasmine Thompson is returning for her third season with the Bronx. Last year, she set multiple career highs and earned a Great West Defensive Player of the Week honor. Looking forward to the competition because. UTPA really hasn't been in a division where we have competitive athletes. So it's a change for us, and we're looking forward to winning some games and giving people a show that they haven't seen before. My strongest attributes are probably getting to the basket and creating for my teammates, getting them open looks and open shots. Jasmine is uh, going to be able to attack the rim. She's going to be able to stop and pop and pull up the jumper. Uh, she's going to have to rebound, and she's going to have to improve on her defensive end if she wants to play the minutes that I know she wants to play, but she's really going to have to D up. And uh, she continues to get better and, and uh, pleased with her work ethic and her passion for the game. Junior power forward Sherelle Price, a junior college transfer from Seminole State College, where she earned junior college all second team honors in the 2012-2013 season. What we're lacking, I try to help and build the team. I try to help and push everybody to get better, basically. I hope, you know, that we form a sisterhood here, you know. It's a basketball team. We're going to be together a lot. So we're going to have to become a family in order to make this work and in order to win the WAC championship, which is our goal this year is to win the WAC championship, put up some banners in here that we don't have, you know? So, um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. She's a very good shooter. I mean, she can shoot the three as good as anybody we have on the team. Uh, again, she's gonna have to be a little bit of a post presence for us. She's gonna have to go get some rebounds. Again, she's 5'11", six foot playing the post for us. So she's at a definite disadvantage when it comes to height. but. We got some plays that we can run for her, pick and roll plays so where she can pop out and she can be open and the bigs are going to have to come out and guard her because if they don't, she'll knock down a three. Junior center Brittany Bush comes to the Bronx from Cowley County Community College where she was teammates with shooting guard Tonisha Walker. Bush helped take Cowley County to the Region 4 Junior College Championship game in the 2012-2013 season. I'm very aggressive. I play quick. I run the floor 90% of the time. Like, so I like to run. We have a lot of quick guards, so me being able to run the floor, then the guards can push the ball up. It's just going to help us all in all. Brittany brings a, a special package to the game. I, I, I like the way that she's really gotten confidence in her offensive game. And again, her defense is what she likes to do. and She likes to play physical, but she can certainly run the floor and, and get in position for some easy layups. So we're looking forward to, uh, to seeing her really blossom as a player. And, and really, for us to be successful, she's going to have to nearly, she's going to have to double-double. And uh, she has the capabilities to do that. 
Along with a strong lineup, Coach Tidwell believes he has a strong coaching staff with a strong chemistry matching that of his teams. So we're able to read off of each other pretty quick. You know, it's like Ishi, I've known Coach Ish for over 20 years. I mean, we've been good friends and we have talked a game of the basketball all those years. He's been with me now, this is his third year. Uh, Hannah Burleson, known her since she was a child. I mean, I've seen her progress and watched her grow as a coach. And Anthony Anderson knew him, knew of him, knew his dad. And so, yeah, we got a pretty cohesive staff and we feed of off, feed off of each other and, and we learn from each other every day. And that's what makes this uh, job pretty special. We, we have a cohesiveness of, we know that each other has, has each other's back and you gotta have that. And I feel like my team has the same philosophy. While Coach Tidwell is quite humble, he made no secret of what he expects his team to accomplish this season. Well, the, the, we're going to get better every day. And when you get better every day, then the chances of you putting more W's on the left-hand side compared to the L's on the right-hand side, that's, that's what you want to do. But our goal is to get to postseason. Welcome back out to the UTPA Fieldhouse. Jonah Goldberg riding with you. Start of the second half, game tied at 29 between the Bronx and Bearcats. We switched sides of the court, Bearcats right to left, Bronx left to right. Bearcats in orange, Bronx in white, Bronx in a 2-3 zone. Bearcats open up the half with the ball and they get their first lead of the game on a bucket and a foul and a chance to make it a three point advantage. Bronx have led by as many as eight. It was 12 to four, but now they trail by three, or two rather, after the free throw doesn't fall. Boga in the left corner. It's inside the leathers. Backing his way in into the lane and a whistle and like leathers drew some contact. Foul number two on James Thomas. Leathers hits the first. He can tie the game with a good free throw here. Got it, tied to 31. Ransom with the basketball on the left wing. It's coming the other way. Offensive foul on Sam Houston State. Boga, pass to Farrell on his right, a minute gone by in the second half. Hines at the top, right wing Farrell. Farrell into the lane, throws it up with the right hand, off the window and in. The Bronx are back on top, it's 33-31. Here comes Sam Houston State, Peters doesn't fall. Bronx with the rebound, they can make it a two possession game with a bucket here. Boga, pass to Leathers, left wing Boga. Gets trapped between some big defenders. Finds Cleveland left side along two, no good. Rebound Baxter. Thomas, layup, no good. 
Rebound, put back Peters. We're tied at 33. Cleveland, 35-33 Bronx, two minutes gone by. Here in half number two. A steal, and here come the Bronx. Farrell left wing to Boga at the top. Boga comes inside, throws it up with the left hand, no good. Get, tries to get his own rebound, tied up. Possession arrow favors the Bronx. Bronx retained. Farrell slips, and that's a travel. Bearcats ball. Lori Toivon in, in, Josh Cleveland out. Bearcats can tie it with a hoop here. Peters goes down low to Motley. Slows the layup. Rebound Farrell. Two on two for the Bronx. Farrell takes it himself and it's swatted away from behind by Motley. And into the cheerleaders. Remains Bronx ball with 30 on the shot clock. Mason replaces Peters for Sam Houston State. Toyvenin's got it at the top for the Bronx. Boga. This is the Leathers. Down low to Hines. Baseline jumper is partially blocked. Gets it back. Throws it up. No good. This time the rebound in the hands of Motley. Ransom. Down low into the corner. And a travel. Paul Baxter, Bronx ball. Thirty-seven, thirty-three, Bronx off the leathers hoop. Baxter comes inside, throws it up, bounces around, and falls in. And the Bronx lead is cut back to two at 37-35. Ransom, the right wing, Baxter for three. No good. Rebound Toivonen. Gets it off to Leathers, now to Boga. Upside Leathers. Farrell had it, but it's picked right out of his hands by Holyfield. Head to Ransom. Hoop in the harm. Ties the game, and Ransom can give the Bearcats the lead with a good free throw. And we're up against the media timeout. 37 all, 15-22 to play. This is Bronx Basketball. Brave and bold. 
silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Our country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put them somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. I want you to come see us today at your new Buick GMC dealer, South Texas Buick GMC. Come test drive the all new 2014 GMC Sierra and drive it home for just $3.99 a month. South Texas Buick GMC. Game Ransom makes the free throw. Bearcats back on top. It's Toivinen throws it up, no good, but he got fouled. Trying to tie the game with a good free throw here. Off the back iron. Rebound Sam Houston State. Peters. Makes it a three-point advantage. That is Sam Houston State's largest lead of the game. Bearcats have scored the last seven points. So we're two minutes fan. Johnson beats Toivin in right wing. Top of the key, Boga. Trying to use Toivonen as a screen. Boga comes in, loses the ball out of bounds. It's Bearcats ball. Terrence Motley inbounds the ball Baxter. Mason to Peters, a swing Baxter. Cycles around to Peters, right corner three, no good. Rebound, Motley. Toivon and trying to steal it away, goes to the ground. That ball is loose and eventually picked up by Sam Houston State and passed to Peters. Mason, pass, it's off the side of the backboard, picked up by Johnson, coming in one on two. And gets fouled. And they'll say he was in the act of shooting. Oh, 
So a chance for free throws for Hurley Johnson. Johnson's first trip to the line today. It's the first. Johnson was a 45% free throw shooter last year. He was nine for 20. Not a lot of attempts. Javon Farrell with three fouls is back in. Shaquille Hines takes a seat. So it's Leathers, Farrell, Johnson, Toivon, and Boga for the Bronx. Johnson hits the free throw. And a quick discussion at the table. They put two seconds back on the clock, or at least on the shot clock. Peters, pass right wing. There's a three on the way and nailed by Nathaniel Mason. Leathers along the baseline, turn around, layup no, rebound, Sam Houston. Bearcats, four point leads, their largest of the game. Chance to extend it further. Wave off that basket attempt. Bronx get the ball back. Boga puts the pill on the pavement despite the fact it's Wood. Boga, right wing. Boga into the lane. Put, was about to put up a shot, but the whistle blown first. Leathers, right-handed hook shot, doesn't fall. Rebound Motley. Flicks it over to Ransom. Ransom stops by the baseline. Pass out to Bond. It's Will Bond. Down low for Peters, and he came in, he got fouled. On the floor. Javon Farrell has four fouls now. Peters, it's 45 to 39. It's a 12 to two run for Sam Houston State. Over the last four and a half minutes, Sam Houston State five of eight, Bronx over three. Well, that takes care of that. Round it in for Shaquille Hines. Bronx back within four. Motley. Peters. Ransom. Pass, normal stolen. Farrell dives to the ground to get it. That's tied up, or he holds on possession, and the Bronx are granted a timeout, so they can hold on to the ball. That's a media timeout, so we'll step aside. 11.26 to go, Bronx by four. This is Bronx basketball. Here. 
we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital at Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. I want you to come see us today at your new Buick GMC dealer, South Texas Buick GMC. Come test drive the all new 2014 GMC Sierra and drive it home for just $3.99 a month. South Texas Buick GMC. Eleven and a half minutes to play. The Bronx trail by four. Shaquille Hines, a basket to break a 12-2 run by Sam Houston State. Bronx with the ball. They can make it a one-possession game with a basket here. But another whistle. And that brings us to our regularly scheduled media timeout. So let's step aside again. 11-13 to go. Bronx down four. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. Call Dr. Raulito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Got to make room. Commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics. Ten fifty-five to play. The Bronx find themselves down four. And now in possession of the basketball after the seventh foul by Sam Houston State by way of comparison, three for the Bronx. It's three fouls now on Terrence Motley. Bearcats making substitutions while well, they're going to the the replay screen I, to double check something. That's a great thing this year. We've added instant replay to the field house. We've got a couple of uh, three cameras, I think. One that's pointed directly at the clock and two that cover the entire court that are up in center court and kind of hidden location. I found them by accident one day. I was like, hey, when did those get installed? They've been in there for two weeks. It's pretty cool. Dylan, I bet you don't even know where they are. He doesn't. Well, it's a three-game homestand for UTPA. Monday, the Houston Cougars come to town for the first time since 1987. Team that thought they were, was going into the Big East ended up in the American Athletic Association or American Athletic Conference, as it's called, when everything was said and done and 
Well, it looked like we were ready to play, but now they're going back to the replay screen. I'd love to know what they're looking at. I, I did not see anything that's so controversial that needs to be replayed twice, but those are questions I can always ask after the game when Coach Hipster joins us. I mean, if they're looking at the clock, I think they would have found it by now. I don't know. Okay, now they're calling both head coaches over, so it's obviously not a clock issue. You don't call them over to take one second off the clock or add a second. It must be determining possession. I guess. Actually, wait, not there was a foul. And it was the seventh foul against Sam Houston State. That, that's what led to the stoppage. Oh, 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 look at that. Well, I guess it was no regular foul, and that's what they were determining. Double technical? Double technical? <laughs> On the two head coaches. Now that doesn't get determined by replay, I don't think. The foul was on Terrence Motley, his third. That hasn't changed. Cleveland misses the first free throw. Well, they called both coaches over to look at the replay or to tell them what was up. And the only thing that I can even imagine would have happened was that when they both got called over, they both said a word that we can't say on the air towards the officials and decided to settle for offsetting technicals. I, I don't know. Huh, well. Bronx gets to keep the ball. After the missed free throws by Cleveland, Hurley Johnson makes it a one possession game. Moisture on the court gets wiped up. Go Bronx. Defense. Bronx within two, need a stop here. Baxter, this is the corner, Ransom. Back to Baxter. 20 on the shot clock. 10 minutes to go. It's a two-point game. Pump fake pass Majewski. There goes the three. In and out and right back in for Kareem Ransom. It's 48-43. Now on the other side. Kaheem Ransom gets the layup, it's 50 to 43. Now to explain why the Bronx kept the ball, that's because it was an intentional foul. They called swinging of the elbow. That's why Cleveland took the two free throws by himself and this ball's coming the other way. 
double dribble. Bronx trails seven. It's their largest deficit of the game. 9.23 to go. Justin Leathers back in. Back-to-back -back turnovers allowed Sam Houston State to build a seven-point lead. Baxter to Bond. Comes down low. McKinney, no good but a foul. Sam Houston State scored the last five points. They're on a 17 to six run over the last seven minutes and three seconds. When the run started, the Bronx were leading 37-33. It's now an eight point Sam Houston State advantage, an 18 to six run. Nineteen to six run. In that time, Sam Houston State seven of ten from the field, two of four from behind the arc, three for three from the line. The Bronx two of six from the field, zero for one from behind the arc, two for six from the line. Keem Ransom eight points during this nineteen to six run. And five other players have baskets for Sam Houston State during the run as well. Mitch McCormick gets called for a foul. Shaquille Hines heads to the line. Hines one and one, it's his first trip to the line today. Bronx are eight of 14 from the line, misses the front end, will knock at a back end. Here comes Sam Houston State, trying to extend this run. Another foul. Interestingly enough, the Bronx have actually committed fewer fouls than Sam Houston State in this half. Lately, it hasn't seemed that way, but Sam Houston State at nine, the Bronx at seven. And what has been a very choppy affair. Point advantage for Sam Houston State. A 20 to 6 run over the last eight minutes of play. No good on the second free throw, an offensive board and waved off a push. Another foul on UTPA. Justin Leathers now with two. Coach Hipscher brought John Von Farrell back into this game with four fouls in all. As he realizes this is the time where Sam Houston State might pull away and they, they're trying to pull away. The question is, will the Bronx let them stay away? Will they reel them back in? And Although Farrell doesn't have gaudy numbers tonight, a man who is not that long ago the number two scorer on a UMass team that plays in the A-10 and played three years at UMass, injured his senior year, but coming back from injury this year. Two years ago was more of a role player as a sophomore was the number two scorer on UMass. 
He's played against a really tough competition. So you bring him into this game. And Hines launches another three in and out. Hines hit two of four from behind the arc in the exhibition, but he's not been able to find the touch from downtown tonight, 0 of three. Ransom for three. It is a 14 point Sam Houston State lead. It's a 24 to six run. Over the last 8-19 of gameplay. Leathers inside. Gets the basket. Let's see if that Bronx can start a run of their own. You know, they say basketball is a gate of runs, and with eight minutes left, if the Bronx have another run left in them, they can still come back in this one. Ransom. Heavy pressure on the inside by the Bronx. Three-second violation. It's Bronx basketball when we return. Seven minutes, 44 seconds remain. The Bronx down 57-45. You're watching Bronx Basketball. Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. I want you to come see us today at your new Buick GMC dealer, South Texas Buick GMC. Come test drive the all new 2014 GMC Sierra and drive it home for just $3.99 a month. South Texas Buick GMC. Welcome back out to the UTPA Fieldhouse. Jonah Goldberg riding with you, 7.44 to play. 57 to 45, Sam Houston State. Justin Leathers, a jumper before the timeout, broke a 24-6 run by Sam Houston State. Bronx with the ball again. Let's see if they can get on a run of their own as Hines gets fouled, can't get the bucket to fall, but now can go to the line for a couple of free throws. Hines 0 for 1 from the line today. Last season, Hines was a 52% free throw shooter. He was 16 for 31. Looks like some moisture on the court, but rather than calling for the sweep, the players have decided to mop it up with their sneakers. Hines first shot is nothing but net. Well, the Bronx need this. They need both of them and they need a stop and they need another basket and they need another stop and another basket and so on. Second shot is good. Bronx back within 10, 57-47. Full court pressure, he stepped out, he stepped out of bounds. Great defensive job by UTPA. And now the Bronx get the ball back. They've scored the last four points. Chance to get this one back within single digits. Boga going to the hoop. 
The pull-up jumper falls in! Eight-point game! Full court pressure remains on for UTPA. Time out, Sam Houston State. They were actually going to get it in. James Thomas had just become open and was running towards the ball. But Sam Houston State calls for a timeout. They were afraid they were going to turn it over again. First time the Bronx have run the full court press. You know what? I think they did it in the opening possession. But they really haven't done it since then. If I'm Coach Hipshire, and I'm not, I'd probably run it for a little while until Sam Houston State proves they can break through it. And even then, I mean, you're trying to come back late in the game. The only reason you don't do it is you don't want to exhaust all your players. There's still 7.17 to go, and that's a lot of time. But the Bronx are setting up full court. Leathers to guard the inbounder. Toivon in back to guard against the home run pass. And they bounce it into Baxter. Farrell stays with him the entire way up the court. Took seven seconds, but Baxter makes it. Ball comes loose. Baxter doesn't lose the dribble, though. Ransom. Peters. Up top, that's Thomas. And it's a 10-point game again. Boga feeds Farrell left wing. To Hines. In front of his own bench. Comes in, takes the long two, doesn't fall. Baxter left wing for three, air ball into the hands of Farrell. Here come the Bronx, Bogus ahead of the defense, lays it up, and in! Eight point game, full court pressure again. A dangerous pass and an alley-oop attempt and a foul. Holyfield didn't go up for it because the ball wasn't by the rim, but after he got it, Javon Farrell went running in to try and guard Holyfield, and that's his fifth and final foul. Farrell fouls out of his Bronx debut after 20 minutes. Scored three points on one of eight shooting, 0 of three from behind the arc, one of two from the line, three assists, two steals, three rebounds, all defensive. Michael Holyfield goes to the free throw line. First trip of the day. Bronx have been able to keep Holyfield in check. He's only been out there for 12 minutes. Two points, two blocks, a rebound. For the really big man out of Albur Albuquerque, New Mexico, 6'11", 270. And rims out on the first one. Holyfield. 50% from the line last year, 45% as a freshman. But that one's nothing but net. It's a nine point game, a full three possession game. With 5.59 to go. Hines, Toivonen, Leathers, the front court. Boga and Johnson, the back court for UTPA. Johnson at the top. Johnson goes to Boga to his left. Left corner, Hines. Hines throws it up and in! 60 to 53. Ransom. Baxter at the top. Baxter throws it up, no good, but a foul. The Bronx got within seven, but send Sam Houston State right back to the foul line where they've made a living tonight, 15 for 29. And while that's certainly not a good percentage at 52, that's a lot of attempts. The Bronx, by way of comparison, 10 of 17, 59%. So the percentage is not a heck of a lot better. But Sam Houston State 
with more, with almost as many makes as UTPA has attempts. Difference of just two. Making a difference of one. Baxter, it's the first, it's an eight point game again. One more for Baxter. Rims out. Rebound Leathers remains a three possession game. At an eight point disadvantage for the Bronx. Hines in the right corner. Foul away from the ball. Paul Baxter. His third. Sam Houston State's over the limit. So Lori Toivonen set it to the line. So having an 0 for 2 from the line today. The man they call Latte. The junior in his second year with the Bronx. It's the first. It is a seven point game. Well this next one is huge. You can make it a two possession game. Bronx need free throws, they need defense, they need baskets. One for 10 from behind the arc today, so that's probably not the way they're gonna get back in it. But the Bronx have pulled to within six, they had been down 14. Five, 10 to go. Ransom in front of his own bench. Pick and roll, pass to Peters, open look at a three, no good, but Shaquille Hines kind of threw him to the floor. So that's, that could mean three free throws here. Technically, the shot was already out of his hands. It did not impede Peter's ability to shoot the three. So technically, they could have called it a foul on the floor and made it two free throws for Peters. I've only seen that once in my time at UTPA, and it's a very rare call to do it, but it wouldn't have been wrong. I don't know that this is wrong. It happens so quickly in real time, but... I don't think Hines affected Peter's shot at all. He was late coming in to defend. Peters misses the first, he hits the second. And now he's gonna get a freebie. He makes it a three possession game, can make it an eight point game with another good free throw here. Got it. 63-55. Eight point game again. Four fifty two to go. Johnson at the top. Bounces it into Leathers. Leathers into the lane, throws it up with the right hand, and in! Six point game, two possession game. Bronx applying some full court pressure, and Peters throws it away! Bronx ball! The Bronx can pull within four with a basket. They can make it a one possession game with a three. You have a couple of guys who can shoot the three, although the Bronx are one for 10 from behind the arc today. Hines, a quick trigger three. Too strong, gets his own rebound and fouled! Headed to the line is Shaquille Hines. It was open. Nothing wrong with an open look at a three. Hines now 0 for 4 from behind the arc, but he's 2 for 3 from the line and now gets an opportunity to get two points and make it a four point game. Off the back iron. One more for Hines. Off the back iron, rebound tipped up, and Hines went over the back trying to grab it. Sam Houston State gets a chance for some points. Free throws. That's four fouls on Hines. 
Hines, 8.7 rebounds today. A tough guy to take out of this game with 4.20 to go. Especially with Farrell already fouled out. I don't know. I don't think you can take him out. There's a 420 to go. What are you saving him for? And this is your chance. No good on the first for Mason. Mason's one for five from the line today. 18 for 35 are the Bearcats. Boga takes a seat. Provost back in. 51% for Sam Houston State. If the Bronx come back to win this game, that's going to be the reason why. This one's good, though. That's now a three-possession game. Bronx have still outscored Sam Houston State 14-7 to over the last three and a half minutes. Toivon has the ball on the right wing. Swings it to Johnson at the top. Over to Provost to his left. Left wing Hines. Hines along the baseline. The floater no good but a foul. Hines heading back to the free throw line can make this a two possession game. And we are up against our final media timeout. 3.52 to play. Bronx down 64-57. This is Bronx Basketball. I want you to come see us today at your new Buick GMC dealer, South Texas Buick GMC. Come test drive the all-new 2014 GMC Sierra and drive it home for just $3.99 a month. South Texas Buick GMC. <laughs> Brave and bold, silver and gold. We are on a mission. Aggie up. Bronx country just got a whole lot bigger. Mighty Wolverines of UVU. Join the herd. Lopes up. Bold moves, big season, grew up. We are the new gold standard. We will be champions. We are the Western Athletic Conference. Welcome back out to the UTPA Fieldhouse. Jonah Goldberg riding with you. 3.52 to play. The Bronx down 64-57. They had been down 14, have cut it to seven, and Shaquille Hines at the line for two critical free throws. Hits the first. It's a two possession game. Got it. 64-59. It's a five-point game in the Bronx applying a little backcourt pressure. Early Johnson back there. Kill Boga's back in the game. Josh Cleveland's in as well. Boga, Johnson, Leathers, Cleveland, Hines. And Shaquille Boga and Dan Hipscher cannot believe that call. Neither can the 1,257 in attendance. Naheem Ranson makes it a six point game. He can make it a three possession game with a good free throw here. Ransom now five of seven from the line today. It's a seven point game again. Three and a half minutes to go. Bronx need points quick. Boga fouled.
Boga, one for two from the line today. Boga was eight for 18 from the line and his time at University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee in 2011-12 in the Summit League as a freshman. Last year played junior college at Mineral Area College where he was a 77% free throw shooter. Makes them both, five point game, 66-61. Peters. Racing down the court. Whistle and a foul. Peters off the back iron. And the UTPA pep band lets Peters know it. Well, no matter what, it'll still be a two possession game. 67, 61, 3.23 to go. Boga. As the ball stripped, loses it out of bounds, was trying to draw contact, and there was certainly contact. But nothing called. Peters races down the sideline trying to get past Hines. Trips over his own two feet and Hines gets called for a foul. Reward good defense. Well, Heinz just fouled out. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, the Bronx got 30 seconds to decide who's going to come in, so they'll use that as a free timeout in effect. Whether well, it's Cleveland, Boga, and Johnson come over. Alex Majewski is going to come in. Majewski has five points today, two of three from the field, one of two from behind the arc. I like that move. Bronx could use a three-pointer here. They don't need it. Still enough time left. They don't have to go for it, but it's nice to have that option open. And you know, Bronx are one of 11 from behind the arc today. Peters. Hits the free throw. Seven point game, a three possession game. Second shot is good. And it's an eight point game, 69, 61, 309 to go. Johnson. Spins into the lane, throws it up, bounces off the back iron, no good. Cleveland, the rebound, goes up and lays it in. Six point game again, 69-63. I tell you, the Bronx are playing their tails off the last few minutes. Full court pressure, Majewski trying to force his defender out, and he does! Now that's rewarding good defense. And Sam Houston State wants a timeout. That's a good time to take a timeout if you're the Bearcats. Show off your defense. Because the last thing you want, especially with Majewski in the game now, is to leave open a three and suddenly it be a one possession game. Well, it looks like Sam Houston State has decided to use their full timeout in this situation. After this, I think they have two 30s remaining. Rogs by uh, down six, 69-63. Shaquille Boga has had himself a ball game. Career high, 17 points. His career best at Wisconsin-Milwaukee was 10. He's done that with three rebounds, two steals as well. 
Ten points for Shaquille Hines. Ties a career high, seven rebounds, but he's fouled out. Justin Leathers has ten points with five rebounds. So obviously, Boga is your, Boga's your engine. He's running this team right now. You know, he doesn't have an assist because he's not your traditional point guard. But in a motion offense, I mean, you don't necessarily expect the point guard to pick up the assist because often those baskets are coming from the second pass. Plus, I mean, Boga creates his own offense. And you don't get an assist if you pass to yourself. I really like Boga's game. I liken him to, does anybody remember Antonio Anderson from Memphis a few years back? Boga misses, Cleveland puts it in! Four point game, 69-65. A little moisture on the court. Stops the clock and gives the Bronx a chance to have their defense set up. Looks like they're gonna change who the inbounder is. And, or no, they're just gonna talk. An opportunity they wouldn't have had without this moisture cleanup. I, well, I guess the, the broom wasn't enough, so now they go to a towel. Somebody spill a bottle of water or something? That must be some kind of wet spot. Okay. Well, we're ready to go again. Just adds to the stop and go feel of this game. Bronx making it difficult to inbound. They finally do and just make it across the timeline before getting called for a 10. It took nine seconds to get across. Peters. Makes it 71-65 with 2.08 to go. Johnson finds Cleveland inside. Cleveland puts it up, doesn't fall. Rebound by Motley. Wide open, uh, Baxter passes it off and then trying to get too fancy was Ransom. Here come the Bronx. Johnson takes the three, one possession game! Only the Bronx second three, but a huge one. Sam Houston breaks through the defense, has trouble with it underneath. Have to pass it out to Ransom. Bearcats had a golden opportunity to make it a two possession game again, but couldn't take it. 19 on the shot clock, 120 on the game clock. The Bronx down three, had been down 14. And a turnover. Cleveland has it, passes up to Boga. The Bronx can tie it. Or at least make it a one point game. Boga tried to pass it off to Majewski. Gets not a foul and they're calling it offensive. A nice shot by, was that Peters on the ground? Whoever it was, I think it was one. I think it was Peters of falling to the ground and drawing the foul. That's a tough time for that. With a minute six to go, and the Bronx have turned around 11 points. Trying to cap off an epic comeback in a game they led virtually wire to wire in the first half. Have been playing from behind almost the entire second half. 54 seconds to go. Peters, no good. Majewski the rebound. A three will tie it, a two makes it a one point game. If you're going for two, you gotta hurry. Otherwise that shot clock will turn off. Majewski at the top. Hands it off to Johnson, lets it fly. Air ball out of bounds. He had too much time on the clock. Thir now there's a two tenth of a second differential between shot clock and game clock, which is the equivalent of not having a differential. So the Bronx call a timeout to draw up a play. They may even draw up two plays because they're going to use their full timeout. So what you got to do here is, I mean, you're going to go into the full court press. The Bronx have forced a number of turnovers today. Sam Houston State 
has turned it over 22 times, 11 times in this second half. And the Bronx have seven steals, three in the second half. They force Sam Houston State to step out of bounds twice. So you have a little time to play defense. You don't have to foul right away, but you don't want to let too much time tick off. And that's what a coach has to decide in a huddle here is how obviously you start by playing aggressive defense, but at what point do you say, okay, now we have to foul? How much time? Clock management becomes key at this stage of the game. It is a one possession game. And, and hey, call it what it is, Sam Houston State is 57% from the free throw line today. Bronx aren't much better at 64%, but 24 for 42. If the Bronx win this game, that's the reason. Long inbounds comes to Peters. Bronx are gonna have to foul. Pass comes back, and he lost it! Picks it back up, and boy, they called quite a, a light touch foul on Majewski there. I don't know if he touched him. I mean, it was right in front of me. And he may have incidentally touched him, but he was trying to block him. Because after, after Ransom picked the ball back up, like three feet from the sideline, Majewski was trying to block him out and stop him from being able to pass anywhere. I mean, that, that, he was playing good defense. And now it's a two possession game. Majewski didn't do anything wrong there. Twenty-seven point one seconds remain. A miss. A rebound by Leathers. It's a four-point game. Quick two or a three. Probably want the quick two if you can get it. Even better if you can try and score with the clock not running. And a foul does just that. Gives the Bronx that opportunity. Hurley Johnson headed to the line. Three fouls on Ransom. Johnson two for two from the line today. The Bronx 16 for 25. Good. It's a one possession game. This next one critical. If Johnson makes it, it's a two point game. And if you could force that turnover, you can tie it from the inside. No good to rebound by Leathers. Timeout Bronx. Well. The Bronx are gonna have their chance. Wait a minute, did they call a foul? Okay. So Leathers gets the rebound. And now Justin Leathers can make it a one point game if he hits both free throws here. Well that couldn't have worked out any better, especially if Leathers hits him. Leathers four for four from the line today. Make it five for five, it's a two point game. The Bronx have turned around 12 points and need to turn around at least two more, preferably three. Terrence Motley back in, Paul Baxter to the bench. Or check that, James Thomas to the bench for Sam Houston State. 19.3 ticks of the clock remain. Leathers makes it. It's a one point game. 72, 71, time out, Bronx. The Bronx were down 63 to 57. Check that, they were down 57 to 45. Or 57 to 43, that's where it was. It was a 14 point game. Since then, the Bronx have outscored Sam Houston State 28 to 15 over the last eight minutes. But they need at least one more point to force an overtime or two more points to win it. More critically here, 
A turnover would really be what the doctor ordered. Full court press and an immediate foul on Jabari Peters. 18.5 seconds left. That's a good foul because no matter what, it remains a one possession game. LJ McIntosh picks up the foul, his second. Peters to the line. This place is getting loud. Peters hits the first, it's 73-71. Peters is now 11 for 15 from the foul line today. Offense, defense, substitutions abound. McIntosh and Provost out. Toivonen and Majewski in, Cleveland out. So your five are Boga, Johnson, Toivonen, Majewski, and Leathers for the Bronx. Majewski, if you need a three, Leathers or Boga on the inside, you can go to Johnson for a three as well. Leathers has an outside touch, although we haven't seen it yet. Three point game, here comes Boga with 15 seconds left. Johnson with 10, with nine, goes inside, lays it up and in! One point game again, 74-73, 7.1 seconds to go. Time out, Bronx. Well, the trade of baskets for free throws only lasts so long and now, they're gonna send Sam Houston State to the line barring a quick turnover. You only get a second, really, to force that turnover. You need a foul immediately. If the Bearcats hit them both, you got to go for three. Ransom to inbound for Sam Houston State. Gets it in along the sideline, an immediate foul. By Alex Majewski, his third. Or check that, his fourth. Well, whether it's his third or his fourth immaterial at this moment, there's exactly six, seven, six seconds left on the clock. Peters to the line again. Cool as the other side of the pillow. 13 for 17 today is Peters. Boga wants a timeout. So they'll use a 30 and draw up the play here. Check that, a full timeout. I thought they already used their full. Oh, it, well, because the Bronx are still standing. Sam Houston State has sat down as if it's a full. Whatever it is, the Bronx get to draw up the play they intend to use to at least tie it. They gotta draw up two plays here. You can, you don't have to. You gotta draw up a play for a three. Is you're gonna run that play if Peters hits the next free throw. If he doesn't, you need a quick rebound and then you gotta take the first best available shot. See, the advantage of Peters making it is then you get a fresh inbound. If he misses, the clock starts. And that's a lot less time to get down the court because everybody's gonna be on that side. There's too much time left for Peters to miss on purpose. Six seconds can be an eternity. Plenty of time. Boga, Johnson, Majewski, Leathers, Toivon in your five. One more free throw coming up for Peters. Six seconds left. And it's no good. Rebound's tipped up. Time ticking down, Sam Houston's got it. 
And how many times do they have to be hacked before a foul is called? That's what the Bronx coaching staff wants to know as you see arms up. Now one and a half seconds left. Alex Majewski. Appears to have fouled out. They announced his fifth. Looking at the stats, I see four, but that may be slightly off. Let's see. No, the stats say it's his fourth. I don't think that's five for him. Either our stats are wrong, because the scoreboard could be wrong. Yeah, you know, Majewski's still in. Okay, so he did not foul out. They check with the book, I assume, to be sure. So 75-73 with a second and a half left. and Okay, that's what they're going to go check. They're going to check with the book now since Majewski stayed in. He has four fouls according to the, the live stats that I'm looking at. The scoreboard said five, but that could just be an error by the scoreboard operator. The official book says four because Majewski is staying in. So Ransom goes to the line. Bronx leave two players to rebound. Sam Houston State puts everybody on the other side of the court. First free throw is good. So it's 76-73. If the next one is good, Sam Houston State will have a two possession lead. If the next one's not good, the Bronx need a full court heave. It's good. Leathers fires it in, Johnson grabs it, lets off a three at the buzzer. This game is over. This one belongs to the Bearcats. A 77-73 victory for the Sam Houston State University Bearcats over the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Wow. Well, the Bronx led this game early. They led by eight at 12 to four. It's, they led by seven at 18 to 11. They led for almost the entire first half. But Sam Houston State tied it in the waning minute of the half. Led almost wire to wire in the second half. The Bronx outscored Sam Houston State 30 to 17 over about an eight minute span to pull within one, but that's as close as they got. The Bronx fall to the Bearcats, 77, 73. We'll take a look at some of the final numbers and then Coach Chipsher will head on out to do the interview here. So let's take a, let's take a quick time out, catch our breath. And then we'll uh, look at those final numbers. Bronx Falls 77-73. This is Bronx Basketball. Here, we understand how a team is the result of being part of something larger than yourself. Creating a better outcome and a better tomorrow. Doctors Hospital Renaissance is proud to support the University of Texas Pan American Bronx. Dr. Pena, does LASIK surgery work? LASIK surgery is America's most frequently performed elective procedure. In fact, I've helped thousands of patients see better. Dr. Pena. Call me Raulito. Thousands and thousands. Raulito, are you sure? Is that thing on? Yes. Follow me. I had to put him somewhere. It's a big project. That's a lot of successful operations. 
call Dr. Olito Pena at 661-UC. The phone keeps ringing. Got to make room. Welcome back out to the UTPA Fieldhouse. John Goldberg riding with you on Bronx post game as the Bronx fall to Sam Houston State 77 73. We'll look at some of the final numbers. We'll start with the visiting Bearcats leading all scores with 24 points. Jabari Peters. 13 of those points came from the foul line, just five field goals. 23 points for Kahim Ransom. Eight points from the foul line, eight or six field goals. Everybody else in single figures. Nine points for James Thomas. Five for Paul Baxter, six for Terrence Motley, five for Nathaniel Mason, three for Michael Holyfield, and two for Markel McKinney. The Bearcats, 21 of 46 from the field, that's 46%. Five of 12 from behind the arc, that's 42%. 30 for 50 from the foul line. I mean, that's, that's your game right there. 60%, uh, 50 free throw attempts. I mean, if they, if they had hit higher than 60%, this would have been a blowout, but 30 for 50, my goodness. 38 rebounds, 12 offensive. The Bronx, 41 rebounds, 16 offensive. The Bronx had four players in double figures, led by Shaquille Bogus, 17 points. 7 of 14 from the field, 3 of 4 from the line, 3 rebounds, 2 steals. Great game for Boga. That's a career high in scoring. 12 points for Justin Leathers, 3 of 7 shooting, 6 for 6 from the line, 6 rebounds, 1 block. 12 points, Hurley Johnson, 4 of 7 from the field, 1 of 3 from behind the arc, 3 for 4 from the line, 3 offensive rebounds, an assist and a steal. 10 points for Shaquille Hines, 7 rebounds, 2 assists. After that, it's 6 points, 6 boards, Josh Cleveland, 6 points, Latte, Toivonen, 5 points for Alex Majewski, and 3 with 3 assists, 2 steals, and 3 rebounds for Javon Farrell. The Bronx, 26 for 63 from the field, that's 42%. 2 of 14 from behind the arc and 19 for 29 from the line. So fewer attempts than Sam Houston State had makes from the line. Points in the paint, 28 to 20 in favor of the Bronx. Off of turnovers, 24 to 13 in favor of the Bronx. Second chance points, 16 to 14 in favor of the Bearcats. On the fast break, 6 to 4 in favor of the Bronx. Fetch points, Bronx had 25 of them, Bearcats at 13. There were three lead changes and four ties. We give you all these numbers, but the only ones that matter, 77 to 73, Sam Houston State University Bearcats beat the UTPA Bronx. We'll take one more time out when we come back. Expected to be joined by Bronx head coach Dan Hipsher. You're watching Bronx Basketball. This commercial brought to you by Lax Furniture, an official sponsor of the University of Texas Pan American Intercollegiate Athletics.